May the force be with you. Now, many of you will recognize that as a Jedi Knight's blessing. But for me, that's my wish for entrepreneurs, businesses, and for anyone I work with as a coach and consultant. My father was in the Air Force, and I grew up on Air Force bases, and I was always surrounded by aeroplanes, and I was always fascinated by the metaphors that linked flying to human performance. I mean, who wouldn't want their ideas to take off? And I'm sure we've all been hit by turbulence every now and again as we navigate along our flight plans towards our final destinations. What I'd like to share with you is how entrepreneurs and every one of us can leverage the laws of physics and the principles of flight to break free of gravity and enjoy greater personal and professional success. I'd like to take you on the journey that saw me make a very simple connection and a powerful discovery. Neuroscientists tell us that we are hardwired for negative bias. That's to say we focus more on the negative than we do on the positive. And of course, it's evolutionary. It's designed to keep us safe. We avoid danger and we avoid risk. But that's hardly the fertile soil from which entrepreneurs grow. Entrepreneurs live in the realm of the future. They dream, turn dreams into reality to release genius. Entrepreneurs play a large part in moving the world forward. In his book, Strategies of Genius, author Robert Diltz highlights the difference between a dreamer and a genius. He says ideas come to a dreamer and ideas come to and through a genius. I think the biggest geniuses that we have are kids. Kids are always dreaming, and they turn those dreams into reality. They dream, and they go out into the playground, and they reenact those dreams. They bring them to life. They create things, and they destroy things, and they disrupt things. This is me as a kid, dreaming dreaming of flying, dreaming of breaking free of gravity, of heading into that blue yonder, into a world of excitement, adventure, and freedom. The very things that later would compel me to want to become an entrepreneur myself. But not for a while. As I grew older, I continued to dream. Ideas came to me. They just stopped flowing through me. And I became somewhat risk averse. And when I had the opportunity as a young man to become an entrepreneur myself, I stepped back, preferring instead the safety and security of becoming an actor. Yeah, go figure, really safe and secure. After I graduated from the Royal Central School of Speech and Drama in London as a new actor, as any new actor will tell you, I was constantly in and out of acting work. So I took a temporary job in a sales company. And one day, my boss asked me, what do you want? And I said, I want to fly. And he said, what's stopping you? I said, you are. <laughs> he said, I am. How am I stopping you? I said, well, you're my boss. He said, yes. I said, well, I need time off. He said, have you asked me for time off? I said, no. He said, ask me for time off. I said, can I have time off? He said, yes. And so that was the end of that excuse. <laughs> what else do you need? Money. Do you have any? No. Can you make some? Yes. And sure enough, I did. So armed with money and time off, I took myself up to the North Welsh coast, which is where my family's from. I hired a caravan by the foot of an airfield at Snowdon Mountain Aviation. And every day I flew and every night I studied. And as I studied for my airplane technical exam, my instructor introduced me to Newton's laws of motion. Law number one, no force, no motion. Or as Shakespeare would say in King Lear, nothing will come of nothing. Law number two, a change of motion is proportionate to the amount of force applied in a particular direction. So if you're going to apply force, you'd better know where you're headed. And law number three, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. You get out what you put in. 
Now, I was really excited by these laws, but not as excited as I was by what he shared with me next. And that was the four forces that act on an aeroplane. And those are thrust, lift, weight, and drag. The principles of flight. Your thrust, he said, that's what gets you going. That's what drives you forward. That's your power. And without thrust, there can be no flight. Lift gets you high in the sky. Weight pulls you down and drag holds you back. Now, I don't know about you, but that sounds like me, let alone an aeroplane. Now, an aeroplane is in a constant battle between these forces to fly. But here's the thing. These forces are known and they are definite. We are not at their mercy. They are at our command. And if that weren't true, there would be no controlled flight at all. So what's all this got to do with people and entrepreneurs? So fast forward a few years, and I eventually did step across that threshold and become an entrepreneur myself. I started my own coaching and training company. And one of my first clients was a global brand. And they wanted me to help them roll out an organizational change program. And as I was designing the program, I came across the organizational change formula, a simplified version of which is this. C equals X is greater than Y, where C is the change that you want. X are the forces for that change, and Y are the resisting forces. So change will happen if the forces for change are greater than the resisting forces. So let's take a look at what that looks like. I'm going to ask you or invite you to turn to the person next to you to say hi. And with permission, just put your palms against each other and gently push. Don't be shy. There we go. Lovely. And gently push. Fantastic. Excellent. And everyone looks very friendly, I have to say. It's not the point, of course. The point is, wherever the force is greater, you get movement in that direction. It's just basic physics. And when I, if you can stop it now, by the way, just in case. And when I looked at this equation, what I realized is that this is pretty much the same as this. Where thrust and lift are the X forces. The X forces, the forces for change. And weight and drag are the Y forces the resisting forces. And I also realized it's the same for me. Whenever I was looking to achieve something, there were things that drove me forward, things that gave me lift, things that weighed me down, and things that dragged me back. And it's the same for any business I've ever worked with as well. So I built a change model around the principles of flight. So let's see how that plays out for a business. As there can be no flight without thrust, let's start there. Your thrust is by far and away the most important force. Your thrust comes from your dreams, from your imagination, from your vision and how much you want to make that vision happen. It comes from your values and your beliefs. It comes from your passion and your sense of purpose. It comes from your perseverance. And sometimes, yes, it comes from your pig-headedness too. Because sometimes our most important dreams seem like the craziest. And then we really have to dig deep to make those dreams happen. Thrust drives behavior. Let me ask you, have you ever wanted something so much that you were prepared to do almost anything to get it? Have you wanted that thing so much that when the going got tough, you dug deep and you kept going while those around you fell by the wayside? That's power. That's thrust. In 1940, the US company Alcoa coined the term imagineering, which they describe as letting your imagination soar and then engineering it down to earth. That's turning dreams into reality. Take a look around you now in this room. Everything you see, and I mean everything, the carpets, the chairs, the walls, this stage, the clothes that you're wearing, yes, and maybe even you yourself, started as a dream inside somebody's imagination. 
and then through the process of imagineering became the tangible reality that you see before you now. If you can't dream it, you can't build it. Walt Disney at the Disney Studios had the dreamer room and all you were allowed to do in that room was dream. Disney created the Disney Dreamers Academy for young people and their mantra is bring us your vision and your energy and we'll give you the tools and inspiration that turns dreamers into doers. Disney is one of the largest media companies in the world and that's a company built on the power of dreams. So whether it's Branson and his airline or Elon Musk and his plans to put people on Mars, as Apple so eloquently told us, while some may see them as the crazy ones, we see genius. For the people who are crazy enough to think that they can change the world are the ones who do. So how crazy are you? What do you dream of? And what are you prepared to do to turn that dream into reality. And if you do invite other people on the journey with you, make sure they share the same dream too. Your greatest company thrust comes from creating a strong culture based on shared values and beliefs, dreams and vision. Because that's the culture that determines how your people turn up every day to turn your dream into reality. So hire carefully. Hire for attitude, train for competence, and manage for retention wherever you can. Because if you don't have enough thrust, your ideas will never get off the ground or stay in the air. So if that's thrust, and if thrust is letting your imagination soar, then the balance between lift, weight, and drag will be what engineers it down to earth and turns that dream into reality. Drag is the opposite of thrust. Drag is you not having the passion that you say you have or you think you have. If you are a company, drag will come from hiring people who don't share the same dream as you. Drag will come from you not believing enough in yourself. And drag comes from your dream not being important enough when push comes to shove. Drag and thrust are internal transformational forces. These are by far the most important in a company. Lift and weight are external, transactional forces. Lift comes from the day-to-day -day things that we need to do to turn our dreams into reality. So for a company, lift will come from having a solid, workable plan. Lift will come from knowing your numbers. What's your profit last month? What's your year to date? What's your operating turnover? A company that knows its numbers will have greater lift. Lift will come from knowing what systems and processes and technology you need. Lift will come from really understanding your customers and looking after them. And lift will come from having great marketing that helps you get more of them. So depending on what the dream is and who's looking to make it happen, that will determine what's on your lift list. Weight is downward force, not ideal when you're trying to fly. Weight is the opposite of lift. So weight will come from not having a solid workable plan. Weight will come from not knowing your numbers. But remember, we are not at the mercy of these forces. They are at our command. There's something wonderful called the law of conservation of energy, which states energy cannot be created or destroyed it merely transforms. So if you don't have a solid workable plan and then you create one, it doesn't just disappear from weight, it transforms into lift. If you don't know your numbers and then you do, it doesn't just disappear from weight, it transforms into lift. And now we really are playing with the balance of these forces of the principles of flight so that we can leverage laws of physics, get greater movement forward in our businesses and help them really take off. And this doesn't just work for businesses, it works for individuals and their dreams. It works for companies, it works for countries, and I believe it works for the whole human race too. Should we ever face a global existential threat, it will be how we unite behind a common vision and how we balance the forces of the principles of flight that determine the outcome. 
So whether you are an entrepreneur or not, my wish for you is that your imagineering brings you all the thrust that you need. And when it does, may the force be with you.